So I've been a judge for a long time. I'm in my 38th year. And I've never ceased to amaze, be amazed at what some people do in the name of religion. And how lives are ruined in the guise of serving a supreme being. As to the Jane Doe's, at this point, I apologize, my hands are tied. Lawyers do what lawyers do, and at this point my hands are tied. But I further want to tell all the Jane Doe's that the world has heard you. I promise you that. As to those family members that have abandoned the Jane Doe's, shame. Shame on you. And as to the defendant, I say, you are a sexual predator. In this case, probation is denied, the reason being as a condition of the case settlement. As to count seven, the violation of penal section 287, subdivision C, subdivision two, subdivision C, been sentenced to state prison for the midterm of eight years, the reason being as a condition of the case settlement. As to count nine, violation of penal section 287, subdivision T, two, strike that, subdivision C, subdivision two, subdivision C, penance levied a consecutive term of a full term of the midterm eight years in state prison, the reason for that is as a condition of the case settlement and under Penal Code Section 667.6, Subdivision D. As to count one, a violation of Penal Section 288, Subdivision C, Subdivision 1, a defendant is levied a consecutive term for the reason of being part of the case settlement. It must be one third the midterm. The midterm is two years. One third thereof is eight months. The defendant is levied a term in state prison of 16 years and eight months. Pursuant to Penal Section 1202.4, Subdivision B, defendant is levied a $300 restitution fine. Pursuant to Penal Section 1202.45, uh, defendant is levied a $300 probation revocation fine, which is suspended. A $120 security fee, which is uh, $40 per count. A $90 criminal court assessment, which is $30 per count. He has submitted tissue sample pursuant to Penal Section 296. Pursuant to Penal Section 1202.4, Subdivision F, defendants pay restitution as be determined at a hearing. August 18, 2022, 8.30 a.m. This department defendant is not ordered to appear as he has waived his right. He's going to following credits of 1,102 actual days, 165 days conduct credits, and that is pursuant to Penal Section 2933.1. We are done. Your Honor, did you institute the uh, lifetime sexual that's been done by the parole board. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to the remaining counts? People's motion. That is granted.